Hey guys, it's Andy from Tinker Crate. Let's jump into our Tinker Drip Irrigation Kit. Here's what you get with your kit. Some plastic tubing, a syringe, some coasters, a dropper, a pushpin and stopper, some pea, watermelon, sunflower, and wheatgrass seeds, biodegradable plastic cups, plantable pots, some sticky foam, some soil pellets, and a wooden water tower set. Let's first build our planter pots. Stick a small wooden piece to the inside of the rim of a plastic cup with a piece of sticky foam. Place a soil pellet in each pot and use your dropper to hydrate it. Periodically mix and stir. When you're done, the soil should fill about a half to two thirds of the plantable pot. Repeat this for your other three plantable pots. For the sunflower, pea, and watermelon seeds, poke your finger into the soil drop the seed in, and cover. For the wheatgrass, sprinkle the seeds on top of the soil. Next, let's build our water tower. Slide the four legs into the small circular piece. Place a cup in the center and notch the rim. The circle on the lid and the circle on the leg should be next to each other. Place a piece of tubing through the hole in the lid and then through the hole in the leg. If the lid on your water tower starts to pop up, feel free to use a piece of sticky foam to stick it down. Line up your planter pots in front of your tinker crate. Then poke holes in your tubing that line up with the center of each pot. Make sure to only poke a small hole. Don't poke your pushpin all the way through both sides of the tubing. Slide the tubing through the small wooden piece in each pot. Fill your water tower with water and attach the syringe to the other end of the tubing. Use your syringe to pull enough water from your water tower that it extends just around the bend in the tubing. At that point, the water should start flowing on its own. Remove your syringe and replace with a stopper Take your whole assembly and put it in a sunny windowsill. Check on your drip system every day to make sure your plants are getting enough water. If it looks a little bit dry, poke the hole slightly larger. If it's too wet, you can either cover the hole with a piece of tape or use your extra piece of tubing. If your water tower runs dry and your tube gets filled with air, simply use your syringe to refill the tubing with water. Once your plants have grown five or more leaves, you can start thinking about transplanting them. To do this, just take your plantable pot, stick it in the ground, and cover with a little bit of dirt. Then make sure to keep watering. I'd love to see your functioning drip system, so share with us on Facebook. Check out our other videos, and I'll see you next time.